Well, the Saline County Republican Party continues to grapple with internal dissension, a conflict that exploded in public a month ago with a fist fight at a party meeting. Well, tonight, Channel 7's Daniela Dehogany speaks with one GOP candidate for office who says she's being denied funding for her campaign, all because she chose sides in that dispute. Daniela? Well, that's right, Chris. Sarah Pippard is running for Benton City Council. She says at first she had the full support of Frank Curtis, who's the chairman of the Saline County Republican Committee. But when infighting grew, Pippard claims she was asked to pick a side in order to receive funding for her campaign and was denied for choosing. The Saline County Republican Party divided right before an election. Most visibly during a September 5th meeting when a fist fight erupted. One of the issues being discussed, funding candidates. The Saline County Republican Party that I saw, it was united and working as a head and body together to fight and bring more uh, power to the people by the people, uh, unfortunately did not exist. Sarah Papard is running for Benton City Council. She believes she was denied campaign funds by the party when she chose sides in an internal conflict. She blames Chairman Frank Curtis. Curtis denies the allegation, telling Channel 7 News, quote, this is a complete lie. It is a ridiculous claim based on how our committee handles donations to candidates. I have never had a conversation with her about any type of contributions. Papard believes she is being discriminated against for supporting the people and not the elites in the party. I realize that I have to choose a side within the Republican Party and that caused uh, me to not receive the fund that I needed for my campaign. Papard says that most party members are eager to end this discord so they can focus on November's election. But she claims the party elites are prioritizing their own power over representing the people's interests. Now, several members echo that they want to keep their focus on the people and not the internal power struggle. This has now led to some candidates on that list to refuse receiving funds. Curtis also tells us that historically, the committee has not funded candidates on nonpartisan city races, that they fund county and state partisan races only. On your side, I'm Daniela Dehogany.